Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk about why you want to automate SharePoint. There are lots of reasons for to do that, of course, but they can be logged into three different parts. First of all, it's accuracy, then it's tracking, and then it's speed. So I'm going to talk about these three different things, and this is part of my series of demonstrations and articles about SharePoint automation. So the main uh, problem with doing things manually, which is the alternative to automating, of course, is that humans do make mistakes. Even if you're very meticulous and really check your work and maybe have some other, somebody else check your work when you're doing it, humans do make mistakes. And they make uh, mistakes at a couple of percent of the time. And that is actually very difficult to find, troubleshoot those things. If you automate things instead, and have a script or a workflow or a flow or something else do it, then uh, usually that script does it the same way every time. So you get it 100% uh, wrong or you get it 100% right. So once you're done with the work, it, it can rely on the automation to do it exactly the same way every time. And that's very, very important. Also, in good organizations or in most organizations, you have processes, things that you need to do. And those are things uh, that, that build up the, the company culture, the company infrastructure in many different ways. Uh, so deciding how things should be done can, of course, be done verbally. It can be done on paper. Uh, you can have ISO certifications and all those kind of things. But you can also automate the process and that makes sure that everything happens in the same way every time. That's important. Uh, most organizations also have a requirement of tracking. That might be that the manager wants to know what has happened, or it might be legal requirements or requirements from a financial standpoint. So uh, keeping track of what has happened is very important. And that's something that humans usually find really boring to check off that this has been done or to log something in a logbook or something. That's usually very, very boring and humans try to stand, stay away from that kind of work. But automation makes that very simple to do. Of course, you, you say that log this thing that this has been done and then it's tracked and SharePoint is really good at that. And what I'm talking about here is either version history, which of course SharePoint has, or other forms of logging. You can create items in a SharePoint list or uh, just write comments in the columns or anything like that. But you can keep track of what has happened. That's very important. And also, of course, this becomes a way of documentation, of documenting what has happened. Now, the third reason to automate is speed. And that is, of course, speed compared to doing it manually. And when you automate things in SharePoint, you can, of course, do the same thing over and over again. Um, that takes time to do manually. Um, a script or a workflow or a flow will do that much, much quicker. But it must be realized that flows are not instantaneous or workflows are not instantaneous. So there is a delay. And in flows, that would usually be five minutes. In a workflow, it's a bit less than that, but it's, it's not really documented how long it will take, but it's not instantaneous. And that's something you need to keep in mind when building scripts. All right, so that uh, concludes my little chat on why to automate. Thank you for watching this demonstration.